Hey boys, what's poppin? Today we have a video on how to boost your FPS in Overwatch 2, increase smoothness, decrease lag, and fully optimize the game for the smoothest experience. Let's get right into it. So as I said, today we have an FPS guide for Overwatch 2. It just recently came out and I thought it would be a good idea to make one since the game is optimized super well even for the low end PCs. Now our goal will be to have the least amount of frame rate drops and increase our FPS to at least of our monitor's refresh rate capabilities. Let's go into the desktop stop and do this okay so first and one of the most important things i want to talk about is discord if you're not using discord you should skip this part however if you are listen closely my child so discord happens to be this awesome platform i love it you love it but when it comes to potato pcs it can be very demanding to have it in the background especially with an overlay now this might sound funny to people with the decent ram slash cpus but i've experienced this i went through this it was terrible discord was making my game run like shit on Honestly. Not just League of Legends, but every single game I've played unless they were older games that my PC would run without a problem. So there are two ways we can fix this. First way is by shutting down Discord completely on our PC and pretty much either have it on the phone if you'd wish the voice chat or text. Or the second way we can optimize Discord to require less resources from our PC while we play. Let's get onto the desktop and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is just simply open Discord. Next up, what you want to do is go to the YouTube user settings is this cogwheel right here next to your username and your hashtag number we want to go ahead and click there after that we're going to scroll down until we see game overlay and activity settings what we want to do is click on game overlay and make sure enable and game overlay is disabled the reason why i'm saying this is because this option is by default enabled and it will take a decent amount of fps trust me on that one after that you want to click on advanced over here and make sure the hardware acceleration is off as you can see here it says turns on the hardware acceleration acceleration which uses your gpu to make discord smoother turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops so turn it off please anyway that's all you can do about that once again if you're having fps issues with any game i'd suggest turning discord off completely and using it on your phone which will give you the best result and for all of you addicts out there that just cannot turn off discord maybe an important e-date or something there is a simple solution that will help out at least 50 percent alrighty so next up what we want to do is update our drivers and windows talking about drivers it is mainly the gpu drivers did i forget to mention that all of these tweaks or whatever you want to call them work both on windows 10 and windows 11 that's right if any of you are interested in Mac tutorials, I happen to have a MacBook, so just comment down below and we'll make those as well. Let's get onto the desktop and update our windows and our drivers because that is very important, kids. First things first, we're gonna update our windows. The way we update our windows is simply by clicking on the start button, going to settings, clicking on update and security. The first window that will pop up is Windows Update. It's right here on the left bar. So just make sure to click it in case it doesn't and click on check for updates. And there we go. We have one update to download. It already downloaded. That was pretty fast. And now it's going to install and it did and it's simple as that for the bigger updates you might need to restart your pc so do not worry do not get scared if your pc hasn't been updated for a while especially you're going to have to restart your pc after that just make sure to restart your pc and the updates will apply after that what we want to do is update our gpu drivers the way you update your gpu drivers is for example if you have nvidia make sure to download nvidia geforce experience if you have amd make sure to download amd software adrenaline edition that's it so yeah make sure to download that sorry for the background noise my cats are playing with a freaking shopping bag yikes so once you've downloaded nvidia geforce experience i'll make sure to leave down the link in the comment section below for both of the graphics card it should look something like this it's going to be in your bar do not worry this is a very great software if you have a geforce card i have a geforce card so i cannot show you the amd way right now but in the future i'll be able to do it so do not worry about that it is pretty simple it's pretty much straightforward it's the same as this kind of just a different interface make sure you open geforce experience don't get too off the topic and click on drivers and we already have a driver that's ready to download i did not really update my gpu drivers shame on me but in case you don't see anything here make sure to click on check for updates if there is an available update it's going to appear down here under available 
make sure to click on download and it's going to start downloading so we're gonna wait for it to download and then you get a first hand experience on how to install this beauty once the download is finished what you want to do is click on custom installation say yes uh it's going to say preparing to install and we'll make sure to select all the options that we can perform a clean installation this bar is for people that usually do not update their drivers very often i'd suggest doing this every once in a while what it means basically is that restores all the settings on your card whether that be amd or uh, nvidia to like default so everything is going to be default even the options you set in uh, the control panel for both of the cards i do not need to do this right now but if you do not update drivers regularly i'd suggest you do it so if you want to do it just yeah click here and click on install while the gpu drivers are installing your screen is going to go black for a second or two maybe twice even do not worry that's normal and also softwares that use your gpu might crash as well but as i said that is completely normal so do not worry about that this is just like a disclaimer or something so as you guys can see here it is finished it is going to say installation has finished you're going to go ahead and close this and now what we are going to do check for updates again just to be sure and it says you have the latest geforce game ready drivers and that's pretty much it now that we've done that what we want to do is go to our nvidia control panel or amd control panel both are the same thing pretty much and we're going to click on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings after that you're gonna click on take me there simpler like that or you can click on manage 3d settings it is your choice and make sure to copy these settings right here now under the power management mode what you want to do is click on optimal power here and put it to prefer maximum performance after doing that you want to scroll down to texture filtering quality you want to click right there and put it on high performance as well on threaded optimization instead of auto you want to turn it on you want to click on apply and that's pretty much it don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be there's another very important tip that will help you speed up the game and windows itself it is pretty good what you want to do is click on file explorer right click on this pc or whatever you named your pc and click on properties after that you want to go to advanced system settings this little window will pop up you see the performance tab all the way up you want to click on settings right there and you get performance options i'd like you to copy these settings these settings are the ones that will save a nice appearance to your windows and also make it a lot faster however if you want you can just click on adjust for best performance that will disable all of these checkboxes but your windows will look a tad bit uglier if that doesn't matter to you go ahead and do it it will help you out a lot i promise you you'll see the changes instantly and that should be pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your pc and last but not least we have the in-game options and this will also help us quite a lot when it comes to our fps so first let's go ahead and click here on the menu or just press escape it's your choice go to options and here we'll have the video which is video settings uh, the first tab is going to be video here we are going to make sure our display mode is on full screen resolution just pick the one of your choosing the lower the resolution is the more fps you'll have but make sure you have uh, 144 hertz if you have 144 hertz monitor or uh, refresh rate your monitor supports make sure to have it on that so i have a 144 hertz monitor and i'll go ahead and pick up a 1080p resolution with 144 hertz dynamic render scale make sure this is off vsync off triple buffering off reduce buffering off uh, nvidia reflex we're gonna enable that if you have a really potato pc i'd suggest enable plus boost after that you want to press on apply and then we go to graphics quality and here pretty much there's not a lot of messing around to do what you want to do is set the preset to low and on texture quality you want to go ahead and select medium if medium doesn't help that much then go for low press y again and that should be it and that would be pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out many more videos coming in the future i try to post them every single day but because of work it is a bit exhausting so anyway once again thank you so much for watching hope it helped you out and peace out